Hey, hi, it's Eva and Zalara Cap Canna fans. Today we are going to take you on a full walkthrough of the resort. I did one earlier back in November uh, when the Zalara side was open, but now everything is open. So we're gonna walk you through from the lobby on the Ziva side, which is the family friendly side, straight on through to all the restaurants, the pools, out to the beach, and then over to the Zalara side so you can see what that's like as well. It's a fairly long video and it was originally done for a live Facebook video. Um, but what I'm gonna do is if you wanna scroll down to the information below the video, you can actually see a notation of what time we're gonna see different areas. So you can always scroll forward or backwards to see the important bits. Hope you enjoy the video. If you do, be sure to give it a like and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Hi, good morning. Well, we're here live from the Hyatt Ziba and Zalara Cap Cana. This resort is in uh, Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic. It's got a lovely beach area for those people to go by. And uh, this resort opened in November, so it's only been open just over two months. And I was here about two weeks after the Zalara site opened and uh, I'm back here again now and absolutely love it. So I'm gonna show you around and show you what, um, why I think this resort is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna go pop outside here, turn around the camera. So we're in the lobby right now and I'm just gonna show you, they've got a water slide park, which is really cool. Lots of um, great water slides, as well as a lazy river. They're still doing a couple little finishing touches on things. Let's see if we can zoom in here. Now I, it's, it's a bit too far to walk. I can't zoom in. And um, the water sites don't open until 10, which is about an hour and a half from now. We're on Atlantic time over here. Um, but I did, I have done a, a video of the water slide park. So head over to my YouTube channel. That is uh, YouTube slash Christine Turner. And you can see I've done about 20 different videos of the resort. So you can, um, yeah, I'm saying I've done about 20 different videos of the resort. So you can see a lot of different aspects of it. Some of the different rooms that I've stayed in. <laughs> Good, how are you? And, uh, um, and see some of the more detailed uh, information about the resort. Just heading back in, trying to get on the Wi-Fi again. It's pretty, pretty good Wi-Fi so far. Um, and just uh, out of curiosity, if, if, has, has anybody watching been to the Dominican Republic or been to the Cap Cana area? I'm just curious to see if you have or not. Flip the camera around. Okay, so we're back in the lobby. So, around these people. So we've got a lovely lobby bar, which is open right now. And as soon as you walk in, this is what you see. So you've got that beautiful um, pool down below and the beach. I'm um, gonna head over here. So while I'm filming, obviously I'm trying not to include any of the guests and especially not, don't wanna film any of the kids without permission. So sometimes you will see a bit of floor. <laughs> Apologies in advance for that. I just wanna show you this. This is a coffee shop and these are the treats that they've got laid out. So there's some healthy stuff as well as some quite opposite to that <laughs> and uh, normally they have uh, ice cream in here as well uh, there we've got some cookies going on and they have a full barista um, and this is all included so um, you can get your morning coffee and then down over here we've got a club lounge and that is uh, for guests of the club section of the resort but lots of sitting areas as you can see in the evening these are fire pits so it's a, a nice little place to relax with uh, just a couple of you or a group of friends. And they have drink service throughout the resort. So if you fancy a special coffee or a martini, you can uh, enjoy your drink down there by the fire pits. So let's go down and check out, we're gonna check out the um, restaurants. Like I say, I've done about 20 different videos of this resort. So head over to my YouTube channel, Christine Turner is all you need to search. Um, or pretty much you can search anything for Hyatt, Ziva or Zalara. And uh, those are my videos. There hasn't been a lot of them posted yet. Just look at that expansive view. Just gorgeous. Now I will say if you're 
looking at booking this resort. We'll head downstairs a few more steps. Okay, so these, hopefully there's nobody on the balcony, oh, too many. Um, these are the basic rooms. Basic rooms, basic view. Not too bad, don't you think? I mean, if you have any questions, by the way, please post them. Um, second time here, so I'm happy to answer them. Now on this side of the resort, these are the club rooms. So these, um, and pretty much most of the rooms have an ocean view. Uh, there are some that just have uh, a resort view, but the club rooms, with those you get access to the club lounge, you get a private check-in, uh, you have an upgraded mini bar. In the club lounge, you have higher, um, sh higher end alcohol, uh, and you also have butler service. So if you wanna book any um, tours or anything like that, they can help you with that. And you can also get a bottle of alcohol in your room with the club service, or put the, with the butler. And then they can also help you with any reserved chairs you want to have by the pool, that kind of thing. Just heading over to the restaurants now and the main evening bar area. Now, this resort, it's all inclusive. We are on the family side. We are co-located, it's a bit of a W. The other side of the resort is Zalara, and that is adult only. If you are staying on the Ziva side, you are, as an adult, 18 years plus, have access to go over to the Zalara side, and you can eat and drink, use all the facilities over there. And if you're uh, below that, if you're younger than that, then you can stay on the Ziva side. You simply can't go over to the Zalara side. And they do manage that pretty well. So we've got a nice little bar area here. Now, all of the restaurants are first come, first serve. So there's no advanced lineups, uh, no advanced reservations. You don't have to get up at nine in the morning, have two a la carte for the week to choose from. You just come and go as you please. It's really civilized. This is the Asian slash Mongolian restaurant. And it's open bonus. Um, <clears throat> now, if it's full, they'll give you a pager. And then you just take that over to the bar there. It works within 200 meters and you can um, go and have a cocktail while you wait. So they've, do, they've got the teppanyaki tables, which is the show cooking, and then this is the Mongolian cooking area. So on these tables here and here, they set up a bunch of different food. You collect it with your bowl, and then they cook it for you in the middle here. So that is uh, quite a unique experience. You can see the bowls they've got there on the side. Really nice decor, in my opinion. Give these people to walk by. Oh, there's some people over there far enough away, I think, with um, pool floats. You're allowed to have those in the pool. And a lot of times people will bring them and then they'll simply leave them afterwards because they don't want to carry them home with them. Um, now, this is Noodle and Thread. They've got a private dining area, as you can sort of see here. So it's a nice, quiet table. Hola! And then this is what it looks like inside. It's pretty cool in here. We ate here last night, actually. They have a charcuterie board, which is not on the menu. Super tip for you. It is so delicious. And then they've got uh, the pasta items lasagna, that kind of thing. And they also are very, very good at this property about doing anything with certain food requests. If you need gluten-free or have special allergies, <clears throat> excuse me, or a special diet, they can accommodate all of that. And again, that's that private dining area. Lots of different wine is available. Um, they have one, <clears throat> excuse me, they have a separate wine list that is go door functions they have um, they do have an a, a upgraded wine list however if you are happy to have just the regular stuff they have two kinds of um, uh, <laughs> they have two kinds of red and two kinds of white as well as uh, pink wine and um, champagne it's got a tours desk here Hello. 
I'm gonna try to do a quick show you a show in here of the buffet because it is absolutely amazing. But we're gonna try to do it without showing people, so I'm not sure how well this is gonna work. Hola. So let's do a brief thing here. So this is the size of it. And I have done a full video on the buffet, but let me just show you this station here. Boom. Doesn't that make you hungry? Jason, I see you watching. Don't even look at that stuff. So they've got the Dominican station, they've got healthy stations, they've got full on cake stations. So there's really something for everyone. Anyways, that's that. It's quite busy in here, so we're gonna pop out. But like I said, pop over to the YouTube if you wanna see a detailed view of the buffet and all of the fabulous stuff they have to offer. Now let's go and check out that pool area. Sorry, just avoiding kids here. <laughs> Good times. So it is, um, just in case you're watching this in future again, we are at the Hyatt Ziva Capcana. Just waiting for these people to go past. And we, uh, this is no, uh, January, what are we at now? January 7th, I think. It's about 29 degrees outside. It's quite warm, but it's not too humid. It's, it feels cooler than it did in um, November. November it was real hot, really, really hot. If you're a person who like just soaks up the heat and loves it, then I would say November is a good time for you to come. If you need a little bit more moderation with temperatures, I would say that January is a nice time for you to come because it cools down a little bit here. And by cools down, I mean like 25 at night. So it's pretty decent. Okay, so these are some of the lounge areas. And as you can see, plenty of spaces for you to sit. You've got sort of moderated shade with these gazebo-y palapa things. And then again, over here, we've got what would create a little bit of shade. There's also plenty of umbrellas. And remember, this resort's been open for two months. So um, you know, there's still some stuff to be developed. Uh, that's Pronto's over there. That's just a little snack bar area. They have probably the best uh, thin crust brick oven pizza that I've ever had. Highly recommend the pepperoni. Cheese and uh, margarita pizzas are really good too. Now these pools are not heated. That's been a common question, um, but there's a hot tub as you can see over there. And um, with the sun, it does heat up the pools anyways. Um, so that's just something to bear in mind. Over on this side, we have the club pool. So that is just for club members. And we've got, again, the upgraded alcohol at the club lounge. You can sit either on the side or there is, of course, the swim up bar there at this pool, the main pool for everybody. There is another swim up bar. I'm getting really low connection, so I don't know if we're live still or not. I apologize for that. Um, I'm gonna go this way, I think. So that's the Navigator Grill. It's um, seafood and some really interesting stuff on the menu there. And as you can see, lots of lounge chairs. They're very comfortable. The cabanas are available for rent. And there are quite a few of them. What's really nice about these is with the curtains on the side. Oh, we're back again. Hey, how are you? Um, what's really cool about these is if you do rent a cabana, you can close the curtains when the sun gets to be a little bit too much if you've overexposed. And uh, 
get a bit of shade or respite from the sun. Of course, we've got the swim-up bar over there. They're just getting ready to start with that. Swim-up bar opens at 10 a.m. And I'm gonna show, we'll go around these people. We'll look over here for a little bit. I'm gonna take you to Chinola. This is a really unique concept. It is a healthy restaurant. And I mean, we're talking salads, really healthy stuff. If you are trying to maintain your fitness while you go on vacation, the gym here is, I don't know, like 30,000 square feet. It's massive. And then this is the healthy restaurant. Hola. Hola. May I see a dinner menu, please? It's a really pretty design. Ah, thank you. So let's show you. So you've got lots of salads on there. Some soups, as well as mains. And you can see they even call it keto soup. Keto fudge. I gotta try that actually. Um, so yeah, keto, paleo, gluten-free, spicy, vegan. So they can really accommodate everyone. Thank you very much. And let's go around these people. You're right on the beach. So you've got that beautiful view as well in the background. It's quite lovely. <laughs> Thank you. So as I said, the gym is huge. They have boxing, uh, what are those called? The big boxing punching bags? Punching bags. They've got about five of those. They have a whole cardio center with tons of treadmills, ellipticals, rowing machines, stair machines, uh, bicycles. They have spin class, they have Zumba class, they have aerobics class, lots of Pilates, yoga. They have stuff on the beach, they have spin classes in the pool. This is a lovely infinity pool that they have here. Um, so there's really lots for everyone if you want to stay fit. Of course, we've got over here Hobie Cats and kayaks and paddle boards. Now, it's a bit windy today and it's supposed to get windier as the week goes by, but um, it's been quite nice. Now, you can see there's that, just over there, there's that barrier, right? So what that was put in for was to eliminate the, turn this around, there we go. Hi, we're back. So that was put in to eliminate the, um, the seaweed out there and it's, it really isn't necessary at this time of year. It wasn't necessary in November, nor was it necessary in April when I was here last year. Last January there was a seafood issue, and <laughs> seaweed issue, and it really kept um, it away from the beach. So um, that's really nice. It is extremely shallow. Uh, I don't see anyone in the water yet. There was about probably 40 people in the ocean yesterday afternoon and it was um, you can walk all the way out to the barrier at times it might get to sort of four feet level but for the most part it's very um, very shallow you can snorkel out there but there's really not much to see um, but the water when the Sun reflects on it in the afternoon it just turns this beautiful teal blue absolutely lovely and let's see what what are the so the basics of this resort, we talked about the all-inclusive, about the meals that you can eat at any of the a la carte. No reservations required, ah, except for the teppanyaki table. The show cooking does require advanced reservations. Um, room service is included, internet is included. Um, the service has been spectacular. Honestly, that was the biggest reason. We're gonna move away from this windy air. Let's walk over to the Zalara side. Yeah, I'm going to show you the adult side just so you can compare. This one is more soft, rounded edges, as you can see, meandering pool, that kind of thing. Um, Zalara has a slightly different look to it. So let's go and check that out. And in the meantime, um, so we were talking about, uh, what were we talking about? Good question. <laughs> uh, so you know, all the, uh, room services included, Wi-Fi is included. Um, the service, the service, that's what we were talking about, really wowed me um, and really truly is the reason why I decided to come back again in January. Um, the staff here, they just, 
they treat you like family. They really, they go out of their way to make sure that you're having a good time. And they're just genuinely lovely people. And I think that's the biggest thing. I mean, the food's great here, really great. The drinks are good, great as well. I mean, drinks are drinks, right? Beer's beer. But um, really to me, it's, it's when you're wowed by service, that kind of can be a bit of a game changer. So here we have the oceanfront swim out suites. And this would be the regular oceanfront rooms at the front here. This building closest to me is on the Ziva side, the family side. And on this side, we've got the Zalara side. Again, we've got the swim up suites and then the ocean front. Now I should have said this at the beginning, but honestly, if, if a beach vacation and you know, the whole hot summer tropical thing, a uh, paradise vacation is not your gig and you prefer something more elevated, uh, touring Europe or a cruise and that kind of thing, you should hop over to my colleague's channel, Scott Dawson Travels. And he has done a ton of videos on everything. Well, he's, he obviously books beach vacations as well, but he also had the opportunity to cruise the South Pacific. I think that was earlier this year. He's done Alaska cruises. So he's certainly uh, more dimensional than I am in terms of travel and different experiences and stuff like that. So definitely check out his channel and his videos. Okay, so we're gonna show you the beach again. So this is the beach in the on the Zalara side. Generally speaking, this would be for adults, but of course the beach is public. Um, so you will see kids walking by, but this section in front of the adult side is meant for adults. The sun rises pretty much straight out that way. It is absolutely spectacular. And then here's the lovely pool area. So again, we've got a massive infinity pool. It's a little bit more angular, which is just different. Um, we've got a swim up bar, of course, because a pool wouldn't be a pool without a swim up bar. And then you can see there's these two sections in the middle here, which are sort of cut out sections and they're just sitting areas. And they're great if you're with a large group because they have the, the pergola thing and it does provide just a bit of filtered um, light. So it's, uh, it's kind of a nice sitting area and those are complimentary to use. Hi guys. How are you? How are you? Good, good. How are you? Bye. Are, are you ready to make lots of fun drinks today? Yeah. Cool. All right. Thank Bye. you. Bye. So yeah, we've got um, cabanas here again. There's a charge for these, um, but all the loungers are uh, available for you. They do ping pong tournaments daily here, and they have a lot of fun with that. There's usually a whole group of people that are playing. You won't see me there because I am no good at that. Uh, and then, oh, and the towels. There's a towel section uh, center right there. You just help yourself. You want two, you want four, take them. No problem at all. This is one of the restaurants. It's sort of the steakhouse. They have absolutely amazing ribs. If you're hungry, get the ribs. If you're not hungry or you're a moderate eater, don't get the ribs because they are a large, large portion. Actually, they'd be a great meal to share. Um, and they have fantastic pizza in there as well. And then we've got another restaurant at the front. And then I'm gonna give you a quick overview of the room. So again, on this side, the rooms at the front would be ocean front. And then on this side, this building is club. The middle is where the basic rooms are. And then this side is the non-club rooms. Oh, and I just wanna show you this. And these are little pool floats. So like I said, you can bring your own. 
or you can grab one of these or two of these and help yourself. Like, like I said, the pool is not heated. Um, it's a little bit chilly at first when you get in, but that's typically because your skin is quite hot. Um, but you know, the sun heats it up quite nicely, so you needn't worry about it being too cold. And there we go. I'm going to show you the club pool. Oh, and so the, like I said, the basic rooms are just at the front here in this building. So again, you know, until those palm trees grow, those are all gonna have a spectacular ocean view. Um, the very top is a presidential suite, and these would be club junior suite ocean view. There are um, the middle ones. Well, you can see, I can't zoom in, but you see the top one there? It's got a divider that doesn't go all the way to the wall. And in that one, that's a, that would be a grandmaster one bedroom suite. So it's a separate living area as well as a separate bedroom. So on the Ziva side, those are perfect for families where you've got the kids sleeping on the pull out sofa and then the adults can have the king bed. So this is the club pool. We've got a club hot tub, which is much quieter than the other one. And then again, we've got club pool with swim up bar. And so I said on this side, we've got the steakhouse at the front. That's a seafood restaurant. We also have another buffet on this side, basically the same um, options. Lots and lots of made to order food stations. Morning, Christine. Morning. <laughs> yeah. There's been uh, actually a surprising number of people who've recognized me from my YouTube videos. So that's kind of interesting hearing their feedback on their thoughts on the resort. So, like I said, we've got another buffet on this side. Also, there is a French Polynesian restaurant, which is gorgeous inside and has perhaps the best filet mignon I've ever had. And there's also uh, Journeys, which is um, an Indian restaurant. And I'll come back, I'll come back. Uh, yeah, and the Indian restaurant, actually they have brought in an Indian chef who uh, really knows how to make authentic Indian food. We've eaten there, it is absolutely delicious. Again, you've got the uh, fire pits on this side. And then on this terrace, there's several loungers and um, cabanas. And this is sort of the smoking area. So what's kind of nice is by the pool, they have raised areas which are specifically for smokers. So it's a good separation. It really helps for the people who aren't smokers. Um, they can sit by the pool and not have the cigarette smoke. And yet the people who are smokers can still be by the pool and by the action. So check this out. This is the, the Indian restaurant Journeys. And like I said, they've, they've uh, got really good food and they've got this authentic train car in here it's a bit dark in here but I think it'll work how cool is this and you can actually dine right in this car pretty cool make sure you don't fall down the stairs that would be embarrassing pop back outside where it's a bit brighter. Um, but yeah, you can see there's lots, lots, of, lots of seating at this particular restaurant. On this side, this is closed right now, but this is the One-Eyed Cat Martini Bar. And they, um, they make some really interesting stuff, including a smoked martini. I forget the bartender who makes that. Oh yes, it's open. It's very dark in here as well. So this is the French Polynesian 
restaurant. It's so calm in here. And they've done a nice little walkway. This is really nice with the lights. When I was here in November, they didn't have this rail. Obviously it's been added for safety reasons, which is a good touch. Um, but it's really pretty. And then like I said, just the best fillet you could ever imagine. And all of the restaurants, of course, can accommodate special diets, allergies. And then uh, we have the buffet, which is the same as the other side. I'm not going to go into that. But uh, overall, this is the resort. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, post them below. I'm happy to answer those. And if you're interested in coming to this resort, let us know. We're happy to help you out. You can either book it online on the webpage or you can contact any of us and we'll be happy to help you out. Like I said, if beach vacations are not your thing or if you're looking for a uh, different type of travel, more exotic travel, definitely check out my friends, my colleagues, YouTube channel, that's Scott Dawson Travels. And if you're looking for more detailed videos on this resort, room videos, um, also I did an extensive video of that super amazing gym that I told you about. And that's on my YouTube channel, which is Christine Turner. And uh, I'm having a great time. So I really hope that you consider this for your next vacation because it is a lovely resort. And like I said, the service is fantastic. So I know you'll enjoy it. So that's it for now. Bye from Punta Cana.